it can only go well. The LP is coming, I can feel it. We're gonna get some LP and we're gonna get it right here and right now. Oh mega lol. The try hard pants have been equipped. Remember the deal. Solo queue, grind towards challenger until we lose one game. Then it's Syrah jungle time. Vigo is doing the same play as me. Just clang his red side jungle. Once he's done with that, he could have top side or he could look for a gank, but LeBlanc is moving up here. I'm gonna do my blue for now. Then I keep my options open. If Vigo goes for an aggressive gank, I can follow. Speaking of, this guy is crazy. Sorry friends, once that Q lands on him he's doomed. Callista flashed, wasn't really necessary but can't blame her either for wanting to secure the kill. Don't ever invade like that by the way, that was the most random invade of all time. He had no prio anywhere and he doesn't even beat me when he won. Like it is just such a weird invade. Can't help bot lane now. Vigo should be topside also. Is he on Grump? Yes, he is. No! I might be doomed here. If I got that Grump, he wouldn't have leveled up. I'm oh, doomed. Man! If he didn't get Grump, I probably could have gotten out. I want to mention that today's video is sponsored by repeat.gg. They have an esports tournament platform where you can sign up to play various games for free with your friends for a chance to win cash and prizes. There's many different tournaments, often lasting somewhere between 3 days, 7 days, 30 days, in some cases even longer for larger cash tournaments. During that time, repeat.gg is going to monitor your ranked games and give you a score based on your in-game statistics. For standard tournaments, players can really join a tournament at any given time, even on the very last day and still have a chance to win a prize, with usually 30 to 40% of participants winning something in the very end. Users can enter into multiple tournaments at the same time where all results can be tracked. You can connect your Twitch profile or your social medias to your account, which will then be shown on the tournament page based on your position. You don't need to install any software of any kind to link your account. And finally, Repeat gives over $80,000 out in cash every month and they're constantly looking to increase it. You want to be part of this adventure? Well, check them out, click the link below and finally enjoy the rest of the video. Bot lane has to chill a bit right now. I don't know why they didn't base. What are they doing, these crazy people? They would rather fight to be free than base. It makes no sense. Oh, that's a big face palm if I've ever seen one. Maybe I can reach in time, not sure. Pretty sure Sirius just out. Oh, hello. This guy really hasn't played this matchup before. He still thinks he can beat me 1v1 after dying to me two times already. Like, he never learns. The moment he spots me, he has to run for his life. Come on, guys. We can't be 4 to 4 when enemy jungler is 0 3 and running it down. This is really unacceptable. No way we lose this game. Vigo is topside. If I get this, I hit level 6, I'll be really strong. We can probably die, but. Not bad. You might have taken most of my top side, but it's worth. Bot lane is really ahead now. 
very hard win around mid 2v2. Both me and Melz are way stronger than our counterparts. The only real problem in this game is top. Gragas is just getting smashed into the ground. I think I'll take Grump and base. He's 1 HP. Whoa. Where did Bart go? Knew it! There we go. Top lane is really boring, but we just have to play away from Ilawi. I hope we're okay with Fetid Ilawi. What is this guy on about? After he died the first time, he just started playing safe. He keeps going for solo kills and he's just running it. I hate when people do this. You make a mistake, fine. But don't turn that mistake into 10 different ones. Just run it down when your entire team is doing well. Easy game. Oh, I'm dead. Come here! That's not worth it at all. I didn't expect him to run four people mid out of base. Legit, every single one of them just sprinted mid. Wait, what is he doing? Oh my god! It does say he's only played Viego three times. Holy moly! He thought he resets tower aggro when he picks up a soul on the turret. Sorry friend, it doesn't really work that way. I'll clear my free top camps and we can move down for Drake. <coughs> Might have to skip Raptors if they start sprinting towards it. Wait, they're doing these people are crazy. Well they get away with it. I didn't expect them to be crazy enough to just start it without knowing where I am, but there we go. one. He does the upside of the Eclipse Lee in. The damage is pretty disgusting. We'll have to deal with Ilawe eventually, but for now, Gragas just has to try to hold. Okay, we're cheaping, I have to move. Just need to care about Ilawe ult. That's the main thing that can create problems. There we go. Easy enough. Right, we are five people here. Bart is topside, if I pop Herald here now, I don't think he's gonna be able to ult. He won't make it in time. Sorry friends, I don't know what you expected to happen. How is this a, like, high-low game? These players are Grandmaster and Challenger. Okay, Grandmaster and Master, only Lao is Challenger. But maybe that explains why she's stomping Gragas into the ground. We should try to get Drake now. Let's do it. Last time, I was not Drake way too late and they just sneaked it. Don't want that to happen this time, I'll be there immediately. Ooh. Spicy. There we go. Oh crap. Wait, I saw this guy 
on the bot in him like 30 seconds ago. I guess he just <laughs> he just randomly left and insta sprinted all the way from bot to top. That's kind of crazy. Lawian part left. Might not be that easy to end, but we'll see how it goes. Part I can kind of ignore. Okay, Lawi, we'll see. Lawi still spools. GG top gap says Gragas who is 0-5 in all chat. Wow. The game. You know what was nice? While Callista was spam chatting and spam pinging trying to tell me what to do for the first 10 minutes or so. From the moment I told her to stop pinging, she actually did. She actually listened and she just started playing the game. Because I have to be honest, it's a little bit annoying when you're the jungler, when you're fed, when everything is going great and you know, you're kind of, kind of taking matters into your own hands and have an easy time carrying the game, that you have someone who's just perma spam pinging you, trying to tell you what to do. It's much, much easier to close out games. When I can just focus on doing my own thing, make my own decisions. And I appreciate her realizing she wasn't the protagonist. Realizing that she was just, you know, jumping along for a ride. A ride on the free low train.